we want to meditate on family subjects. And uh, the text select is Joshua chapter 24, verse 15. It is written, and Joshua said, And if it, it seems evil to you to serve the Lord, choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods which your father served uh, that were on the, the other side of the Jordan River, or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. So family is such an important uh, point in our lives. And uh, we work hard to instruct our sons and daughters in the ways of the Lord. And uh, we keep blessing them. And maybe these days you have a problem with your children, a grown children. You know, it, uh, they are read uh, men and women, and they have their own lives and their own authorities. But you know what? There is a promise for you and for me. Because we, we declare the words of Joshua as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. And uh, we want to take possession of this, you know. And even if there is a prodigal son or daughter in your family, I'm going to declare that the prodigal son and daughter will come back. Come back to serve the Lord Jesus. Come back with understanding, a perception of the love of the Father. Because the prodigal, he had to to go all the way down to perceive it, the blessings that were in the house of the Father. And he, he came in humility and he was received in honor. I declare that he, they may come in humility, uh, understand what they lost, but they will be surprised by the honor. I speak this, you know, in the Spirit, saying that many will recover your prodigals. Family is important. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. I want to mention also Acts 16, verse 30 and 31, where the, the prison keeper was very touched by the moment and he came towards Paul and Silas and uh, he asked it, Sirs, what must I do to be saved? He was in that very moment to receive Jesus as his Lord and Savior. And the word that came from the apostle was, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved, you and your household. So there is authority in the name of the Lord for the parents to declare salvation over their children. And uh, we do more than that. We speak salvation over the, our whole family. We declare that if there is anyone still resisting to the love of Jesus, they will surrender. They will receive such salvation and they will be blessed in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen.